whenever the kids are allowed back on the campuses, we're hearing a lot of questions about the bus service. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas continues our back to school coverage from Boulder. Dylan, some of the parents say the district's decision to not bus high schoolers is unfair to low income families. Jim, the school district says only high schoolers with disabilities will be, will be bused to and from class every single day, leaving every other high schooler to fend for themselves when it comes to finding their way to class. Luckily, at this high school right behind me, they have an RTD bus stop, which can help out with that, but not every school has the same. I spoke with one single parent who tells me that her daughter is 15 years old and will have no other option but to walk four miles each way to class. People rely on busing as part of the education system. Maxine Mose said she was shocked to hear Boulder Valley schools would not offer busing to high schoolers this year unless they have a disability. We are literally four miles from our neighborhood school. I rely on BDSC busing to get my daughter back and forth to school. I don't have the option of driving her back and forth. Maxine's 15 year old Minna isn't old enough to drive. Maxine says at least at Monarch High, lower income families are the ones who tend to live further away from campus. It disproportionately impacts the low and moderate income people that can least afford to bear that burden. And at some point or another, you just don't have enough buses and enough drivers in order to, to, to serve everybody. Randy Barber with Boulder Valley School says the situation is not ideal, but they do not discriminate. It's a very difficult situation. This is not the way that we would like it to be. You know, uh, we're in the middle of an international pandemic. And so during a crisis, you have to make tough decisions sometimes. We had to start somewhere. And so we really focused on our younger students and the students that had special needs. I know everyone's working really hard, but whatever solution they provide has to be an equitable one. And you can't create the dynamic where in-person learning is only available to those who have the socioeconomic means to find a way to get their high school student to school. Now, Maxine tells us she is more than satisfied with the education her daughter receives at Boulder Valley Schools. She says she's hoping to work with the district to try and get more busing for students who live further away from schools. The district says they're trying to work with health officials to increase their capacity and routes. Live in Boulder, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Dylan, thanks. We know getting back